Ah, this one is amazing. We're going to solo this. If you ever work with cheap cameras, and I know you never work with cheap cameras. You only work with the best, and, and especially the highest possible quality microphones and, and audio mixers, because that's the way you live. But if, if, for instance, you are ever given by a client something that's recorded with a cheap camera, you'll recognize this next problem. Come on, people are watching. Nope, 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 I want this one to go up here, right there. There we go. Much gooder. All right, so this time we're gonna go over to the uh, waveform editor. Notice the flat tops here. This is an indicator of, a, of an AGC on a cheap camera that is clipping the audio without capturing the full dynamic range. Maybe not distorted, but not good. Listen to how fat and blatty and unpleasant it sounds when we get to those flat top sections. I mean, it's not fall off your chair awful, but we can do better. And the way it works is you go up to the window menu and you display the diagnostics panel. There's a number of different diagnostics, a de-clicker, which is a, a waveform version of the automatic click removal, which you've already seen. That's why I like the automatic click remover better. Deleting silence is going to totally destroy all your sync. Don't use that. Marking audio passages is, I'm sure its mother loves it. But what we want is we want the declipper. And when we go to the declipper, we want to, hang on a second, we have the ability to change the settings. Hang on, let me get there. There we go. What you want to do is you want to adjust, let's make sure our presets are correct, set the default to be default, then adjust, let's go to normal. I like that better. Adjust the tolerance so that when you click scan here, it finds some problems. Doesn't find any problems there, so the problems are listed down here. Let's go give ourselves a little bit more tolerance and scan again. There we go. You want to adjust the tolerance so you start to find clipping problems. It's found about 126 of them. And you're doing that by scanning. Then, once it says, okay, I found these flat tops here, and I did that by adjusting the tolerance, you click the magic button, which is repair all. Watch the waveform, especially the tops of these two clips. Watch the waveform in two, one, woof. That quickly, it has restored all the missing dynamic range. Listen. Is that not incredible? I, uh, frankly, I, I've read Adobe's manual on this multiple times, and as far as I'm concerned, it just says magic happens here. Listen to how much fuller and richer and rounder and less offensive that audio is. It rebuilt dynamic range, which was missing because the AGC clipped it. It's called the D-Clipper. This has been an excerpt of a power-up webinar looking at audio for video inside Adobe Audition. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 180. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,200 movies, hundreds of hours of training all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash subscriptions. And thanks.